Okay, we are on to the back side of our greatest common factor and least common multiple practice. It says that Callie baked 30 oatmeal cookies and 48 chocolate chip cookies. Uh, and she's bringing those us in for us tomorrow, she promised, to package in plastic containers for her friends at school. She wants to divide the cookies into identical containers so that each container has the same number of each kind of cookie. If she wants the container... Uh, each container to have the greatest number of cookies possible, how many plastic containers does she have? Okay, so really, how many friends is she giving cookies to? So for this, we are going to be finding our greatest common factor. So oatmeal uh, is going to be 30, so we're going to be finding the GCF, or the, the factors of 30. Um, so we'll start off with that. We have 1 times what, Edward? Um, 1 times 30. 1 times 30 is how we're going to start. Okay, then we move on to the 2's. Does 2 go into 30? Yes, it does. And how many times? 15. Okay, so we're going to do 2 times 15. Okay, does 3 go into 30? It sure does. And how many times? 10 times. 10 times, so 3 times 10. And notice we're just counting. We've done 1, 2, 3. Our next thing we're going to look at is 4. Does 4 go into 30? Yeah, no, it does not. No, it does not. Okay, so 4 doesn't go into 30. Um, so we are going to move past 4 on to 5. Does 5 go into 30? Yes. Yes, and we know that one is 5 times 6. six. Okay. And our numbers are right next to each other, 5 and 6, so that means we are sure that we have gotten all of the factor pairs. Uh, we do not need to look for any other ones. Okay, so chocolate chip cookies are going to be our next group. Um, we have 48 chocolate chip cookies. Oops. So we are going to find the factor pairs for 48. We're going to start off with 1 times... 48. 1 times 48. Okay. 48 is an even number, so now we're going to do 2 times... 40, yeah. And 24. Uh, 24, yep. Half of 48 is 24. 3. To check 3, um, if we add 4 plus 8, the neat little divisibility trick, 4 plus 8 is 12, and 12 is divisible by 3. Okay, so we know that 3 goes into 48. You guys also can look for this one at your list that we already made for 12. Um, question number 12 about the choir. Um, there were 48 girls, so you can use the same list. Um, so we have 2 times 24, and then 3 times what, Edward? 16. 3 times 16. Okay. And then we're going to check 4. Does 4 go into 48? It should, because we noticed that it's 2 times 24. Mm -hmm. um, so we would say 4 times 12, 12 is 48. Okay, 5, our number doesn't end in a 5 or a 0, so it's not going to be divisible by 5. What about 6? Mm -hmm. 6 times what? 8. Times 8. Okay, and the only number we're missing between 6 and 8 is 7. Uh, and 7 does not go into 48, so we have our complete list. We're going to go through and circle everything that they have in common. Okay, so they have what all in common, Edward? Mm, well, there's 1. Okay, they both have a 1. Mm-hmm. There's uh, three. Okay, what about two? Yep, that's also there. Two. I've got two. I like to go in order. Yep. Okay, and then we have three, as you pointed out. Mm -hmm. Anything yeah. else? Um, six. Yeah. Six. Okay, and that was over to the left, or I mean to the right. So a lot of times people will miss that. So make sure you're looking on both sides. Six. And what is our greatest number going to be there? Um, our greatest out of both of them would probably be um, six. Six. Six is our largest number. So that means that she would be able to make six containers of cookies. So she hopefully has six friends that she's giving it to. Um, so six containers of cookies. Now, if you wanted to go a little bit further, I could ask you um, how many cookies of each type would be in the container. Six containers of cookies. And to get that information, if we look back at our factor pairs, it's going to be the other number that they were multiplying by. So we've got six containers of cookies. When we look back, if we look at the six times eight and this five times six, that means that they will, each container will have five oatmeal cookies and it will have eight chocolate chip cookies in it. Um, if they asked you any sort of additional information like that, that's something great that you can find from Greatest Common Factor. If you guys have any questions, please email me.